Neighbors are just staring at me, so I had to give them the good one. That night. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm gonna gear on. Today, this video is gonna be about me teaching you guys how to lower your car on Photoshop. So, before you guys want to get your springs or coilovers or bags or whatever, whatever you guys want to do, if you have the time and the littlest bit of skill, because it's really not that hard. You can photoshop your car low to see what it looks like and bam then you go get your springs or bags and coilovers and all that but yeah let's get right into the video i'm gonna drive to get up get up get up i'm gonna drive to get natasha and then we're gonna go drive somewhere i'm gonna snap some photos on the camera then we're gonna get back home put the computer on and then i'm just gonna give you guys a little little quick tutorial on how to lower your car or slam your car or whatever you want to call it on photoshop but let's get to it. Alright, it's our location. It's my secret location. Just kidding. Frank's from McDonald's right there. Nice backdrop. It's actually a good idea to do it on a road with less lines because when you slam it, it's harder to edit the lines out. Oh! It's swooping us! You rude prick. Hey, let's go over here. So we're not gonna I'm get scared. attacked. Are you recording? <laughs> Anyways, these birds are attacking us. This is the Frankston Seagulls. <laughs> they own this area. Anyways, yeah, so you get an area where there's less lines because when you edit it down, you might get some lines that look weird because you're cutting. I'll explain it later. But let's take some photos. So, this is the spot right now. I'm gonna get some quick photos. My car's already low, so it's gonna be like not much difference. But if you can't stop high, stop high and you wanna see what it looks like low, it's a good idea. <laughs> Alright, we're done taking photos. Hopefully, I took enough. But man, those birds were trying to eat my ass. Anyways, let's get to the computer. I'll see you there. I've edited my photos ready. I'm gonna go straight from Lightroom. You can just import your photos straight to um, Photoshop if you like. What we're gonna do is gonna go photo, edit in Adobe Photoshop, let it load up. First things first, I'm gonna go to the pen tool, which is already selected for me. I like to zoom it in a bit. It makes it a lot easier to see where you're selecting. So we'll go zoom to 100. And you wanna start the pen from the outside of the frame. So from there, you wanna go straight to the point where you wanna lower it. The reason why I'm choosing here and not like the corner of it is because as you can see, there's a really big contrasting colors here from the step to the ground to the to the road and if i lower it from that concrete it's going to pull the step down and it's going to have like an awkward weird looking cut just where the car is so we're just going to go right below the step so it doesn't go into the step if that makes sense so we'll use this spot um in fact while i'm here there's a tip we can use you'd rather get a place where <coughs> or a photo where the whole bottom of the car is on the road. I'll show you with another example after this and then it'll make a lot more sense. But yeah, so grab the pencil, start from the outside of the frame, straight to the point where you wanna start the lower part and then go around. You can be very, very quick depending on how rough you want it to look, but I'm gonna go quick so we can get this tutorial done with. All around the car, around the guard, around the wheels, but try to stay as close as you can to the guard as possible. But don't go, don't cut into the car because then it will pull, you'll pull that down and it would be like the guard would be like weird shape. So you'd rather be in the shadows than, than onto the car. Bring it around to the front. Like, like I said before, you don't want to go up here because it's going to pull this concrete down. You don't want that or this step. So we'll just stop right at the bottom there and then straight out. And after that, go back to the right height you want to go all the way up and around 
and down. Ooh. Left click, <coughs> make selection. You're gonna wanna make sure your layer is selected. You wanna go Control J. What this will do is you're gonna take that selection that you've made with a pencil and put it on its own layer. What that means is if you grab the move tool, you can actually down key it and push the layer down. Uh, pencil, we'll zoom into 100. Start from the outside. I'm gonna start from here this time. From up here, I'm gonna go down to this corner here because I wanna go over this line because if, if I pull the line down, it's gonna make the, the arrow be like glitched. So we don't want that. So we're here, pull from this layer. Quickly around the edges of the paint or guard, all the skirts. Back to this, we've connected our pen tool again. Right click, make selection. Feather radius pixels, one is good, doesn't matter. Just do one. Layer selected, Control J. It splits the layer or cuts the layer, whatever you want to call it. Grab your layer, down key it. Oh, sorry, click the move tool, then you can down key it. As you can see, if you look down here, if I keep going, you can see the layer, it will slowly, slowly cut into the arrow. So that's what you don't want. <coughs> you don't want <coughs> to have imperfections like that in, in the picture while you're doing your edits because that something simple like that can ruin image because if you look around the edges it's very very rough you can either just crop it which is what I would do you can't even tell because this would just like be for like Instagram let's say like because we've done it you can see that's a harsh line it's unrealistic that the water has like just dried up that little bit but because you wouldn't even know I could just upload that straight up to Instagram no one would even know but obviously the bricks up here you can see that it's like glitched out that's what you don't want so what I do is I literally just crop it just a tiniest tiniest bit all the way around and then that fix that issue but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial very very simple very, very fun to do like your mates will love you if you just do that for them not gonna lie I've done that to a lot of a lot of cars I've done it to B wave picture here I've done it to I've done it to yeah okay but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one.